Hey, Ben Sissel here with SVRA wanting to tell you about a really exciting event, the Chattanooga Motor Car Festival. As a Tennessean, I am super excited about this because I love the city of Chattanooga, one of the prettiest cities in the United States. And there is a track, the Pace Grand Prix at the Bend in downtown Chattanooga. SVRA is sanctioning this racetrack, a new racetrack that is 2.75 miles long. Yesterday, on the way to the Mission Foods VIR Speed Tour, I stopped by to try to take some video of the track, and I find the man behind this whole event, Byron DeFore, making some finishing touches on the track. So I had him drive me around and show me some of the elements of the track. So this is a drive around narrated by Byron DeFore. Hope you enjoy. Well, I'm, of course, Byron DeFore, and, and this really started with uh, some thoughts on our family. Uh, if you race a lot for a lot of years, it's difficult to leave your family every month for a week and go racing, leave the wife and kids at home. So Jim Pace and I, the late Jim Pace, who died of COVID last year, uh, had a brainstorm that we wanted to build something close by in Chattanooga. We liked the venue, but we wanted to walk everywhere to an auction, to the track, to the concourse. We wanted to have children's activities and shopping and restaurants for our wives and and children grown like for me, I have grown children and grandkids and so the ideal was just really that you could walk to everything within five minutes and not get in a traffic jam, etc. All right, so Byron, then when you're ready, just take me on a lap of the track, explaining. Thank you. We're start at the point where we're entering Riverfront Parkway, uh, which is the section on part of the section on City Street. So we'll have some traffic, and ultimately this will all be uh, concrete barriers on both sides, with a lot of hay too as well, but. These poles will be behind the barriers. And we did this the last uh, couple of years and it's worked out really well. People love this stretch um, through the city and all this manufacturing. It was interesting. I, through this event, I became friends with Elaine de Cadenu, unfortunately, who just passed away. But he would. Uh, Twice he came to see me and he says, Please keep this as original as you can to Chattanooga. And so this year we're really trying to do everything local, as you'll see, with all the pumpkins because we're in the fall of the year, etc. And here's where the barriers we've started they'll, they'll go back to the starting point on both sides. Uh, starting on uh, Monday, this coming Monday, four days away from the event to complete the barriers. The track will end, uh, the road will end there and the track will begin. This is our turn down uh, the Siskin straightaway. These tracks get paved over next week to make it smooth and then as you can see, uh, there'll be more barriers put on both sides of this street as soon as we're able to close it. But it's still an active street down to the river for all the steel mills. Here's where we enter the section that we actually built this section of the racetrack in part. Some of the road was here. As you can see, we are uh, turning making our way down. Last year this section of concrete was a little bumpy so we we actually had to bring in a massive machine that sanded this down smooth so this year it should be a very smooth stretch to make these turns coming around. Getting to the point where we've added to the track. Last year we had a small uh, I call them a bus stop from the old days but uh, but as we make the turn, we come down a short straight. To the right will be a whole children's park with fast wheels and swings and 
a lot of games for, for the small kids as well and a viewing area. Some of this section you can see we put pumpkins and uh, straw and made benches out on them. We hope probably to be able to seat about 10,000 people this year where last year we didn't have seating, very much seating. A lot of people wanted to stay all day so we're trying to improve on that. But we do our left. We're heading through the new section that I really like through these these going through these S's. These are the this is the old parking and manufacturing building floors that we're driving over right now. And then the really sharp corner that goes into the alley of the greats, which I didn't think of. Someone that works for me did. And uh, as you can see, we've got, I'm gonna back up just to get a little better shot from our camera, but it's really quite, gives you a sense of well-being to see this, but Enzo Ferrari and the Ferrari group here. Then you see Ray and Alberto, and it just, I can't even remember we put so many up the last two days with a crane, but, uh, but this is a, a fast straightaway through here. David Hobbs, Peter Gregg, Lynn St. James. We still got others to go here with Jim Pace and uh, Elaine de Cadenet. So we hope that's a, a great photo shot and take you down memory lane. Then we go into the back straightaway again here on the sharp right. A little off camber, that's going to be a challenging turn. That's a challenging turn. It's a little bit like, uh, well, Road America has the big yeah. turn there, yeah. But here was a very fast section as well that people really enjoyed. We're still got construction going on, but it's really just in the cleanup. Follow this apex all the way around to the right, under the bridge, the walking bridge that gets all the folks over into the racing section and uh, as you can see we, we got a great Thanksgiving look to this if you will or Halloween maybe fall is what I'd like to think but this will be vendors and the vendors go all the way down to the paddock uh, area which is over to our right here car clubs off to the left uh, a lot of car clubs will be here all weekend. And then we come right up to the fence where we started, which these gates are open, and these barriers obviously will be used out on the street. This is where you enter back, right where we started. I'll turn this around and we'll go to the, uh, to the paddock area. Um, we'll be able to shoot right off in, into the pits. Well, there'll be pit-in signs as well. We just don't have them in yet. Last year, we, we didn't have pits. We had to wing it right off the parking lot. We found out race drivers, race car drivers really like to have pits. So we have about, I think we have approximately 30. Straight ahead is also where the, the paddock uh, will be. And... Uh, We'll have tents for all the cars to be backed under in case it's rained. This gate, as you can see, will be opened and you'll be able to go in and out with anything you need. 